Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today, we're looking at a paper from the Hugging Face Trending List, published on November 13th, 2025, about two days ago. This paper unveils a minimal vision transformer that predicts depth and ray maps from any number of views, and on a new visual geometry benchmark, it beats VGGT by about 44% in camera pose accuracy and 25% in geometric accuracy. The paper is titled, Depth Anything 3, Recovering the Visual Space from Any Views. And as we'll see later, the implications for unified 3D perception are quite significant. Also, the author shared a GitHub repo. You'll find the full DA3 codebase with a model zoo, ready to run Python API and CLI, a Gradio web UI, example assets and notebooks, config files for custom setups, and quick start install and inference scripts, plus exporters for GLB, NPZ, depth images, ply, and 3DGS videos. Figure 1 presents the big promise. A single transformer turns any set of images into a coherent 3D understanding of the scene. The method predicts depth and ray maps, where a ray map gives the origin and direction of a viewing ray for each pixel, so geometry aligns across views. The large right panel shows the fused point cloud that results from these predictions. The small panels illustrate depth and rendering quality, while the circular chart indicates stronger geometry and pose accuracy than competing models. Well, figure two shows the whole pipeline that turns any set of images into aligned depth and ray maps, which means each pixel gets a 3D line it lives on, so views agree geometrically. The left panels supply images that become patch tokens. The central block runs a single transformer with cross-view self-attention, a mechanism that lets tokens compare across images to reason about shared structure. The right panels output depth, ray, and fused points, so geometry becomes directly usable. Along the bottom, optional camera tokens inject known poses or a learnable stand in when poses are absent. So after that pipeline, Table 1 lists the datasets that power training and evaluation. The top block names the pose geometry benchmark suites, indicating scene counts and sensing types like LIDAR or COLMAP. The larger bottom block enumerates the pose geometry training sources, mixing synthetic and real captures. So coverage spans indoor, outdoor, and object-centric scenes. The spread shows substantial scale and diversity, which matters because the model must generalize to any view configuration. The entries follow scene-level separation to avoid train test leakage in shared datasets. All right, Table 2 compares pose accuracy across several datasets using two metrics. AUC3 measures how well camera angles are recovered under a strict 3-degree tolerance. AUC30 is a looser score with a 30-degree tolerance, so it reflects broader robustness. Across datasets, the DA3 family consistently ranks in the top positions, which signals strong cross-view reasoning without extra task heads. Wrapping up, two takeaways stand out. A single plane transformer with a depth and ray target really does unify any view geometry, and the teacher-student recipe delivers strong generalization, yielding state-of-the-art pose and reconstruction. The broader implication is simpler, scalable 3D perception that feeds better rendering, mapping, and AR robotics. That is it for this episode of the AI Research Roundup. I am Alex. Thanks for listening.